Hi guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel. Welcome in to our sanctuary. We get your little steps up in here. Um, cause we just to talk about it. Uh, I just dropped a couple of videos because people having a hard time letting go. So I'm pretty sure it ain't just those few signs that came out. Cause Spirit said, do a collective. So this is, um, for the collective. Oh, so this is gonna be for the collective, okay? And see, uh, what what areas are we tripping, not letting go? What are we holding on to? All right, what are we doing? What uh, what do we got going on? Things that we need to be detaching and we make it complicated. Look, surrender, intuition, spirit, the hangman. Right, um, Pisces energy, the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Surrender your intentions to what God wants, right? It's not your plan, it's God's plan. Seeing something from a different perspective, using your intuition. Yeah, you got two, you got intentions and intuitions. And choices. I told you some choices. Some major choices that need to be made that people don't want to uh, make. We not making. We just in that suspended state with the hangman. We been in a, in a stagnated state, which is peaceful. It's okay, though. It, it is peaceful, right? With the um, high priestess and the magician. Right? We manifesting, definitely setting our intentions. But I feel like maybe it didn't look like what we thought it was going to look like with the higher fund and the lovers. And we're make, needing to make a decision on um, if we going to stay or go. Like what we go follow, right? What are we going to follow? So I'm going to pull a couple of cards. What's this thing that got us in suspense with the hangman spirit? Clarity. Truthful communication. Right? Contracts. Some legal issues. Right? Some man issues. Uh, police issues. Issues, issues, issues. Some, see, some stuff that was promised to us. Like I said, contracts being... Um, wanted to figure out what to enter into. Hmm. Not knowing what to enter into. Somebody might be um in suspense about surgery or getting that, you know, that little shot they got. Hmm. But... Either way, I know you're thinking about it. You're like, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Give us some more clarity on this Ace of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, some kind of foundation. Yeah, something's going to make you feel secure. Right? Something's going to make you feel secure. Something is definitely going to um cross over, too. Oh, I had it upside down. <laughs> but you got the magician and you got strength. So something you're trying to bring together is causing you burdens. And I think it has something to do with self-care. Like I said, it could have something to do with um, you releasing something. You standing independently. Right? Something about these contracts. Hmm. Yeah, what are you trying to uh, get? Something is making you nervous. Like, look, he can't even hold the uh, sticks. Y'all nervous, like, fumbling. Somebody fumbling over stuff. Mm. Fumbling. Fumbling, fumbling, fumbling. Yeah, somebody. Um, somebody trying to use some kind of effort to make something come together. Right? Getting creative. That's why in, in this position right here is like, are you getting creative? Because the Pisces is definitely a creative. The Pisces with the magician. 
definitely a, a creativity. Let's see. Let's see. What's the high priestess? What do we know? What's the inner knowing that we need to let go of? Knowing that we need to let go of some stuff that's no longer serving us any good, right? It's no longer good for us. Could be um, thoughts, could be friends, could be lovers, right? Period. We know it too. And we know if it's people, we know who they are. And if it's things, we know what they are. If it's thoughts, we know what they are. Right? Once we do that, what are we manifesting? Once we quit being clingy and holding on, what are we manifesting? Oh, cool. We're going to get established manifesting. Um, Boss, she look getting stable. The towers in reverse, so they landing feet first, even though this is a powerful realization because you know the things that you need to let go that they're you're clinging on to, or you know what's clinging on to you that you need to cut off. This is taking control and, and being emotionally available, like you know, kind of like, um, how do you say, like, not use it's head and heart, head and heart. Balancing head and heart. Balancing your head and heart. Not overthinking with your head or your heart. Right? Going with what's in with side with the hermit card. Shining the light on what you really know. That's that powerful realization is getting you back on, on a firm foundation. Right? So you got the lovers twice. Upright and in reverse. So what's this major choice? What's the decision? What's the outcome when you make the choice? What's the outcome when you... Let go and let go. What's the outcome, spirit? The sun. Yes. Now, that's a great card. That's all things are possible. That's all bad things coming to an end. This is gain. This is prosperity, right? Look, the justice in your favor and new opportunities. News and travel and, and passion, right? Yes, on your way. Clarity, once you let go and do what you need to do, and justice in your favor. Yes. And the heart from what the spirit wants us to know. What's at the end? What's at the end? What's the eternal game? What's the eternal game? Oh, that we don't have to suffer through that no more. Right, the cycle is completely over that karmic cycle. Look, judgment and the four of wands and the star. Yeah, we ain't gonna have to continue those cycles anymore, right? Judgments, there's renewals and fresh starts in the household, in whatever is causing you stability in your friendships. Um, but the star card, ain't no buts. The star card is healing and knowing that all possibilities uh, be yours, but you got to cut off that, that <laughs> wish fulfillment with the queen of cups. Right? That's ten cups. That's having what you, that's having your cake and eating it too. As soon as you uh, come out of contemplating and start acting, because the hermit card is not action. Right? It's thinking. And it came up in reverse, so it's time to take action. This is the um what is it, the half moon cycle? Yeah, time to take action. Time to take swift action with the eight of wands right there. And there's your ten of cups. Once you make that swift action, there's your ten of cups. And your victory. Six of wands, public rep recognition. Promotion, emotional fulfillment, happy households, happy jobs, happy opportunities, travel, um, balance, beauty, doing everything in moderation, right? Learning new things and, and stepping outside of your comfort zone with the devil in reverse. Yes, getting what's due to you, right? Not being bored, not being stagnated, no longer yearning, 
but having the growth that you need. But you got to look up and take the opportunities, whether you know what it's going to provide or not. And I know it looked like a lot, right? And you don't know which one, which cup is going to provide that stability. But it ain't with the cups that you got. Whatever you holding on to. Whatever you holding on to, see how he looking back towards the past. Whatever you holding on to is not going to afford you to get that new opportunity. So you're going to have to quit juggling. Take an introspective look on the inside and check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yes. Let's see. For the collective. Let go and let go. I think that's what I'm going to title. <laughs> let go and let go. Take control. Let go. Quit looking at the past. Let go and let go. Spirit, give us a, um oracle. The power of the energy. Power. 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 X-ray vision and live wire. Wow. And that equals a 10. That means look a little deeper. You got it right with, with the moon core, right? Look a little deeper. Take time to think a little longer before you just make any final decisions. Have confidence, right, to move forward. Live, live things move, right? Live things go for it. Go get it. That's that um, fast energy we was talking about, right? Smooth and then things going to be smooth and easy. And you're going to muse right along and, and hit the jackpot. After you untangle, get out of these entanglements. The jackpot is waiting. And you know what it is in your heart. Yeah, somebody broke your heart. and, and Or you just have to break this. But that's okay because I want my jackpot. It's free filing. It's either them or you. And guess what the cards say. It's time to fly. It's a silver lining. So I think you better let it go. And let God. No arcana angel. I said what I said. Namaste.